<laughs> like driving into Vermont up there with the uh, t trees turning colors. Uh, if you want to send us your pictures, do it on the local forecasters app. On the very bottom of the home screen, you'll see the more button. Uh, or I'm sorry, the pins button right there at that camera. Tap that and you'll get access to all the pins that have been posted. You can drop yours, comment on your neighbor's pics, and of course we'll show a lot of them here on Local 4 during the show. Storm Tracker 4 does have some showers and what we showed you here at the top, uh, you can see that stuff that's a little bit north of 96 is a, a little bit more put together. So I think the better chances of seeing a couple sprinkles are going to be north of 96 tonight in the north zone. It's still going to be just sprinkles. Most of us are going to be dry. The air is very dry too. So once that rotates through and you can see the uh, models sort of blowing it up a little bit more than I think we'll see, we'll stay dry until Thursday. That's the cold front that's going to make all the changes for us. It's going to drag through here Thursday afternoon. So south zone, maybe the east side, you get shower chances. Most of the weekend is going to be dry. Saturday's rain chance can be after sunset as a warm front comes through. We'll call it a warm front, but a uh, temperature is really not going to be a whole lot different because once that comes through on Thursday, we're looking at highs in the 50s and lows in some spots going into the 30s, at least for a couple days. Here are your lows tonight, 48 degrees in Detroit. That'll seem like a picnic compared to what we've got coming up. South zone lows will be in the low to mid 40s as we start tomorrow morning. West zone generally here in the 40s too. We're going to get close to the 30s out there in Livingston County, but I think we'll stay just above it. 41 in Fenton, 42 in Howell and North Zone Lows. There will be some 30s in Lapeer, Sanilac and Northern St. Clair County as we start out tomorrow. Let's take a look at uh, high temperatures on Wednesday. 66 is where we're going and that will be the warmest that we see. Seven day outlooks got some 30s. Frosty on Friday morning. Karen freezing as we start out Saturday. And once those 50s get here for highs, that's what we got through most of the upcoming forecast. All right, thank you, Ben. We'll see you at five. Mm -hmm. Still ahead here.